Welcome back. Uh, this is Nick Agria. Um, as I promised last time, I will be solving a quadratic equation or quadratic equations with this kind. And we have ax squared plus bx is equal to zero. When you see something like this, when you cannot see, see a constant without x, just a constant, then what you can do here, you can only do this by factoring. So you can see here, there are x times x there, and then we have x there. So the common factor is x. And then you have ax added by b is equal to zero so when you have two factors you can always divide these factors and let them equal to zero and then we have ax plus b is equal to zero then you can just solve equation uh, this equation the other one, the first root is always zero. Okay, let's take a look uh, for some example. For example, we have three x squared plus three x squared plus five x. As you can see, there is no zero. And then as you can see, there is x to both terms. And I will put them out. Them out that outside the parentheses and that then we have 3x added by 5 is equal to 0 then our fir first root is no I'm not going to just our first root is 0 and our second root is sec 3x plus 5 is equal to 0 and then uh, Subtracting both sides of the equation by 5, and we have 3x is equal to negative 5. Divide both sides of the equation by 3, and x is equal to negative 5 thirds. Uh, I forgot to tell you on my first, here, on my first uh, video, that when you get two, two roots, you need to specify them. I will put. You need to specify them like this. My first root is equal to two thirds, and my second root is equal to negative two thirds. We usually put in a bracket, bracket, brace. I don't know. Okay. And uh, the other one, this one, you sh we should have written. Um, square root of 6 and the second root is negative square root of 6. We will do that here now with uh, this. Our first root is uh, same pen. Our first root is 0. It's always 0. When it is in the form of this equation, quadratic equation, the first root is, is equal to 0. Always remember that. The second root is negative 5 thirds in this equation. Hmm. We'll do it that way. Okay, let's have some more example. Another is uh, this example. As you can see, 9x squared uh, subtracted by 15x. Um, if if you fa do your factoring, the proper factoring, it should look like this. You have 3x and 3x for this one. And this one is negative 5 and 3x. So our 3x is the common factor, 3x, and we have 3x 
subtracted by 5 is equal to 0. But you can see here now, if, if we put them into equations, 3x is equal to 0, then our first root is, is still 0. So you don't need to do your um, proper factoring when it is looked like this. For example, 9x squared subtracted by 15x is equal to 0. You can just put x there and then we have 9x minus 15 is equal to 0. That's all right to do in this case because we're not dealing on the proper factoring right now. But because you will have x is equal to 0, the first root. But I'm going to continue this way now. But I'm just telling you that it's all right not to, not to do the proper factoring. Then we have 3x minus 5 is equal to 0. We don't need 5 there. So we add 5. Then we have 3x is equal to 5 divided by 3. And x is equal to 5 thirds. So uh, that's our x sub 2. So x sub 1 is equal to 0. x sub 2 is equal to 5 thirds. Yeah. I think that's enough. On my next video, I will be discussing this form when the general form is there. All A, B, and C are not zero. As we have said, A should not be zero or else we have a linear equation. There are a lot of ways on uh, solving this this type of equation, quadratic equation, we have the factoring, we have the completing this completing the square, and uh, we have also the quadratic formula. And of course, if you have a good uh, calculator, you can, you can use your technology. Maybe this last one, I don't have a good calculator to, to do it. I only have a graphing calculator. That's the reason why. So I will be discussing factoring, completing the square, quadratic formula. See you around.